Today, I'm going to start Terraria. So here's my quick adventure here. First, I opened up a bag I had in my inventory. Got a bunch of loot to start with. Sorted out a few things. Someday pet squirrel. I called him Chippy. Finished organizing a few things, used a master, and proceeded to chop down every tree I see. My plan was to build a big hotel so I could fit many NPC players in it. It's not gonna be easy, but it was gonna get done. While I was chopping down a few trees, my squirrel attacked a few slimes. Always so hyper to attack. And this is where I leveled up my first time. So naturally, I put points into my health and my strength. After finishing that up, a couple slimes attacked and there was a small family of squirrels. I thought it was a family reunion. I was still wrong. So after fighting off a berserker ice slime, my squirrel took out the family of squirrels. I don't know if it was a family dispute or if it was territorial purposes. Here's why I picked up an ice shard, which will be used for some very good gear early on. That'll be done later. And then a giant snowball attacked me. So I used magic missile on him. Repeatedly. I like a blam. And then I leveled up again. So while the intent was signs, I was deciding which points to put into, so I went for my summoning damage, for my squirrel to do more damage, and then I put points into my defense. So, after doing all that, I cleared up a flat plane for my future hotel to be set up in. All will be attacked by multiple slimes. So after getting that done, decided to quickly build up this hotel as soon as I can, while wow, being attacked by the slimes. Oh, and this is where things get interesting. For this one of the must-get creatures. Now the RPG mod not only makes you strong, but it also makes your enemies stronger. All while being very well rewarding. Like in 3 gold coins from a simple slide. I'm rich. So, quickly spamming a wall into the mansion or hotel, whatever you would like to call it. Set a few torches, getting everything set up. I'd say it was coming along very nicely. So after finishing up that floor, I decided to make the second floor of this hotel. And decided to fight up a few slimes in the meantime and an evil eyeball. Now if you face an evil eyeball, it's obvious what you should do. Just poke out its eye. It's a literal flying weakness. Also while my guys was being attacked, I made a hole in the floor so I can put in a future staircase, which was totally on purpose. And then leveled up again. Noticing a bit of a balancing issue here or symmetrical issue. Decided to fix that. I'd say it looks nice now. Setting up a staircase for the upper floor. And proceeding to finish off the second floor now. All while zombies were knocking on my door. After finishing that up, I decided to go on a little trip, gather up all the resources I could find, and fight off a few zombies. Zombies were very persistent in this mod. With all the others combined.
So while standing my ground while my squirrel was attacking up front, we took quite a bit of time to take out these zombies. Then I leveled up again, up to level 6. So deciding to close myself in, decided to finish up the third floor of the mansion now. It was a bit tedious at this point, with all the blocks being placed in the wrong spot, but it wasn't an issue at all. So, rebuilding a few furniture items for future NPCs. Also getting a meatly traveling merchant, who had some interesting stuff, very expensive stuff. None of which I need right now. But he may have something for me next time. Also noticing I had two accessories on, one better than the other, so as a natural businessman, I sold him the worst one, and kept the better one for myself, and sold him a few other things I didn't need. While well, finished, and now my hotel is finished, while also receiving my merchant, a demo man, and a chef. So, after finishing up, I planted a few trees to gather some more resources, all while my squirrel beat up a bunny. And I saw my first penguin! I wanted to go say hi to him, until my squirrel decided to go psycho and decapitate the penguin. It was a dark day, and then I saw my second penguin! Honestly, I really saw that coming. And as every Legend of Zelda player knows, you have to break the faces. Rewarding and satisfying. Also fighting off against an icy slime. A bit tedious at this point, but it's fun. So after a quick adventure in the snowy biome, I returned home to finish up the hotel. Also checking what I could make with icy shards. Very good gear at the start. It will take a while to acquire all, but well worth it along the way. So now my next part was to consider where I was going to put my chests for all my loot. In the hotel it would look weird, like do I want to put most of them on one side or the other? So I had a thought, I had an idea. Why not put all my loot underground? It's so like any sane person, I dug a hole straight through my hotel's floor and proceeded to make a basement. It was a long, tiring process, but it was well worth it in the end. All while witnessing my squirrel taking out a few other poor animals and watching some trees grow. Adding stone supports to keep my hotel from falling on me. Which doesn't seem physically possible at this point, but hey. Also noticing I was a bit low on some wood supplies, I decided to head out and gather some more. And of course I don't know where my squirrel ended up taking out a poor blue jay. And then I saw a duck. I went to go say hi, but my squirrel just went duck dicey on that poor duck. And then I saw a third penguin. It was the same result. So, went back to finish up the basement of my new storage facility. Of course, while I was working, I didn't notice this, but a very strong creature was about to arrive at my door. So, before I went to finish my basement, I bought an anvil, and I was really tempted to buy that piggy bank for my gold, but I decided to save on that for a while. And then I saw him at my door. Piggy! So, I let Piggy in, welcomed him to the home, and proceeded to magic missile him. 
I promise you, this is a very good reason for this. And I promise you, this took a while. A long while. So after 667 hits, I win. And receive 10 gold in that process. With some bacon! Piggy did not go down in vain. So, finally installing the three chests I had, I decided to deposit my money in it so I wouldn't lose it if I die. Again. Which totally didn't happen yet. Then I decided to set my anvil down for now. And my base nuke was about ready. So hanging out to the snowy biome decided, hey, let's go out with my dull superior copper broadsword plus three. That's a mouthful. And I finally get to use some points to use the skill tree. Very handy. So I put my points into my summoning damage, my melee damage, and one extra point into my range. While a slime was approaching, we took him out, I leveled up. Win-win. And then another slime came. And then an evil snowball with a slime came. And suddenly I got outnumbered by giant evil snowballs. It's like Frosty take your revenge on me. It was a scary experience. And it was a good thing I stored my gold. And that's about what happened. 